Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Qasim and I am from Pakistan. Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told me in my dreams to share my dreams with others and that is all I'm doing. So don't blame me. The mercy of Allah is for everyone and everything. And I just want to be a friend of Allah and nothing more. And only Allah is my wakil. I have been seeing such dreams for more than the last 27 years. Allah came into my dreams more than 500 times and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam more than 280 times. I was about 12 or 13 years old when Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam both came in my dreams for the first time. And after that in 1993 when I was 17 years old, Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam started to come regularly and continuously in my dreams. And ever since Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam keep coming into my dreams. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last messenger and prophet of Allah and I am ummati of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and I am proud that I am the ummati of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In many dreams Allah told me Qasim go and spread light in the world as it is in darkness. In one dream Allah told me Qasim I will defend Pakistan and I will save Pakistan. Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told me many times in my dreams that Qasim one day you will take the whole ummah out of darkness and then the whole world and after that the world will become peaceful but it starts with Pakistan in my dreams Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam guided me to the right path from 2007 Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam started to teach me in my dreams about the things which I should do and the things which I should avoid Mostly Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told me to avoid from all types and forms of shirk and to be a good human. In April 2014, Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam started telling me in my dreams to share them with everyone and then I started to share my dreams with my family and friends and some other people. I also shared my dreams through email to Pakistan army official sites, government sites, popular people and with many Islamic countries official websites. But it seemed that no one was believing in me and my dreams and they all ignored me. After that I stopped sharing my dreams. In December 2014, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came twice in my dreams in a single night and told me Qasim, you have to share these dreams to everyone. to save Pakistan and to save Islam. I got confused and I said to myself that I have shared my dreams with many people and they are not believing in me. What more should I do? And then Peshawar school got attacked and then I thought about it and I decided to share my dreams on the internet. Let me be clear that I am a simple person and not religious. I am clean shaved. I did not used to pray regularly and I don't pray tahajjud. I just tell the truth and I do not lie. In 1994 Allah told me from the sky and I still remember his words, "Qasim the promises which I have made to you I will indeed fulfill them and if I fail to fulfill my promises then I am not the king of all the worlds." Ever since that day I have been waiting for Allah that when will the time of his promise arrive and when will my patience end. I did not despair of the mercy of Allah and whenever I start to despair then Allah or Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would come to my dreams and say that Qasim despair not of the mercy of Allah and Qasim be patient Allah does not waste the rewards of those who are patient and Allah is the best disposer of affairs they motivate me with such words and i become fresh again in january 2014 Allah told me that Qasim i have tested you for 20 years I wanted to see that whether or not you are from the ones who despair of the mercy of Allah. I saw this dream in summer 2003. Allah said Qasim until the time for my promise arrives even if you dip your hands in gold then it will become dust. But when my promise arrives then after that if you dip your hands in dust that it will become gold by my order. I saw this dream in spring 2002. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told me Qasim my son do not despair in the mercy of Allah Qasim it is impossible that you exist and strange things don't happen in your time the earth will pour forth its treasures trees will grow more fruits and bear less leaves there will be sustenance upon sustenance 
no one will remain poor and there will be peace everywhere and law and justice and no one has ever seen such a time before. I do not look at Allah in my dreams and I just feel in my dreams that Allah is on his earth and his voice is coming down from there. Or I see noor and voices come from the noor. Or Allah talks with me from the sky. In every dream I feel Allah nearer to me than my jugular vein. I do not look at the face of Muhammad wasallam, but I can see his body. In one dream I hug Muhammad wasallam, and my whole body witnessed that I am hugging Muhammad wasallam. I have shaken hands many times with Muhammad wasallam in my dreams and my hands witness that I am shaking hands with Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In September 2015, in a dream, for the first time in my life, I look into the eyes of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When my eyes look into the eyes of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then they get fixed and I couldn't look away. I feel as if in his eyes, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Allah has filled all of his noor. That was an unbelievable moment for me. I have seen many other prophets and messengers in my dreams, but I only looked at the face of Suleiman and I have seen Isa in my dreams many times. In a few dreams, I saw that when the whole world became peaceful, the Jal came out from somewhere and he tried to destroy the peace of the world. In one dream, I saw Isa coming from the sky and Gog and Magog came out and they got spread across the whole earth. I with very few people joined Isa and then we live with Isa In 1993, when the dream started, I made a notebook and I used to note my dreams in the notebook and things like how many times I saw Allah in my dreams and how many times I saw Rasulullah But a few years back, I lost that notebook during shifting. Total dreams are more than 800 and I still remember many dreams. Many years back in a dream, Allah told me Qasim before sleeping Read Surah Ikhlas, Surah Falak, Surah Nas, and then sleep so Shaitan stays away from you. And I have been doing this from the last many years. Allah told me in many dreams, Qasim, one day I will help you and will give you success. And I will fulfill all my promises, even if there is only one day left from the Day of Judgment. And the whole world will see your success. But Allah did not tell me that when will the day come and I am waiting from the last 22 years. It's been a long journey for me. Still, I am waiting for Allah. I did not lose my hope from the last 22 years. And I don't know when or how I will reach my destiny. I don't even know what my destiny is. Only Allah knows better. Please share these dreams and visit my Facebook page and YouTube channel for more details. It doesn't matter whether you believe in them or not. My job only is to share them. After that, the choice is yours. All I want to say is that your choices of today are going to shape your destiny for tomorrow, so make them wisely. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.